6,500. 30 pounds as you see it here with some optional tidbits and upgrades. The Freedom Express 259 FKDS gets us tip to tail under 30 feet while still providing a full living room super slide and king bed slide in the bedroom. And a neat little unique twist on this concept, the Freedom Express version brings us some Asdell as well as a really nice camp kitchen. I always like to try to take a minute to show things with slides retracted so you can see them in what I call like travel mode. There's our entry door for point of reference right next to that big fridge that we've put in here. We like to upgrade the refrigerators anytime we can here at Halo RV, in, especially in this model. Now you notice with the slides closed, you can get up here, you can get to uh, a lot of counter space, the sink, your cooktop, and you do kind of lose access to like this cabinet space behind the slide. I suppose you could kind of reach around. That is a little bit tricky to get to. But you don't really need to because if you're even like halfway smart about how you load this thing you see that you can still get to this huge either pantry cabinet closet whatever you want it to be right by the door you've got hanging rack up top these shelves are removable so you have as much or as little storage there remember that as we start going through the kitchen and the living room later now the next question uh naturally begs what about the bedroom and the bathroom and that is kind of the Achilles heel of this floor plan. Remember, I will always show you the good with the bad here at Halet RV. Because it has a camp kitchen outside, it does not have a second door to the bedroom outside. That means that we are not able to access the bedroom or the bathroom. That is the most the bathroom door can open right now. So keep in mind that this is just a phenomenal unit for either getting uh, you know, your kitchen packed if you have clothes that you leave in it, or if you're going to use it for park destination use, holy cow, guys, this thing is the business. And now with the slides opened up, oh, buddy, we get so much more room in here. Now, I've got some wicked light coming in this thing, so I've got most of the shades closed. Because when I start getting the camera near an open window or the door or something, it, it gets a little washed out. Apologies for that. But this big super slide up front, this big living space makes all the difference in the world. Now you have different refrigerator options. And remember that the one that you're looking at in this video could be different from what's in stock. This is the optional eight cubic foot gas electric fridge freezer. It gives you 33% more cold storage capacity versus the base model. But I have learned, it is my understanding in the near future, those nice large 12 volt refrigerators will soon be made available here in this segment. So you will probably see us moving forward build this floor plan with that 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge to really maximize the cold storage. And then remember, of course, you got the fridge outside because this is one of the very few um, 30 foot uh, front kitchens with a bedside out there that has any variety of camp kitchen. It's actually really cool. What I like about these, you can see that we've got great prep space and a little detail note, guys, they were listening compared to the previous generations. You see how that's a split sink cover. That is something a lot of clients ask for in Freedom Express. Listen, they're very good about following that feedback. We're going to start checking out the uh, kitchen storage. Actually, I'm going to spin you around, as I said before, because remember, you've got really that like extra pantry and storage space over here, kind of behind your pantry team center, which if you've been paying attention as nerdism, uh, I think number 37 here at Haywood RV. So we've got a handy little shoe garage below the little entertainment storage here. We'll zero back in on entertainment stuff specifically. Right now I just want to look at cabinet and storage space. And as we mentioned previously, the shelves in here, they are all individually removable. So you could take out one, two, or all three of them kind of as your heart's content. I love how they include an extra light just in that closet space right there. It's a little detail like that that I key into that a lot of brands will tend to miss. Now, as we spin around here to the kitchen proper, you'll see this is all pocket screwed cabinetry. Nice looking hidden hinges really kind of just... They sort of just church up the look and the feel of this thing, gives it a nice uh, visual aesthetic. And below the sink, normally in a Freedom Express, you'll find one of the uh, very famous utensil drawers. It's a U-shaped drawer that goes around the uh, sink. It's one of the best uses of space I've ever seen in a camper. In the 29FKDS here at Halet RV, though, you see that we have two. And in case you're wondering why you're seeing daylight through there, it's because this is a full pass-through storage, and these drawers actually go just above it. And I have the outside door open currently, so there's nothing to be scared about there. I just want to make you aware. Corner pantry over here, this is going to be like your destination pantry space. That's the kind of, um, you know, extra bonus storage you get when you reach your destination. But 
as I back up here, one of the nice things they offer you in these Freedom Expresses is that below the uh, dinette uh, benches, you can see that you have those drawers there for um, easy access. Now, as uh, we go up here, a couple things to bring your attention to. If we take a look, you can see that we've got those nice black out kind of uh, pleated shades there. All of the windows do open for airflow, by the way. And that table can fold down both into a sleeper and the table itself is fully free floating. So if you do want to kick it uh, outside for picnic time or bring it over here in front of that handy cinema sofa for, um, you know, Dinofa dining, you can do that as well. Now, the, the accent lights below the dinette benches, you might not have even kind of realized those were there. There's little accent lights down there. Kind of really handy what I call stealth mode lighting, navigating the trailer at nighttime. But there's also uh, accent lights, that same switch will activate the lights inside that overhead cabinet. So th there's a couple handy kind of indirect things right there. Now our theater seat, manual recline, but uh, heat and massage features, which is really nice. And we are directly across uh, Boardwalk and Park Place from our entertainment center. That TV is on a swing arm pivot mount, by the way. So if you wanna make it face the kitchen or the dining area, you can. What's also smart is down here, um, the uh, extra open shelf space. If you want to make yourself a little phone charger stand or something like that. Or uh, like one of the things I do is I'll stream a lot of media off my phone and I'll just leave this here and plug it into that thing. It gives me an easy way where I can do something like that. And then uh, as we uh, progress back further, you see that tall door number one on the left there. That will be our bathroom space. As we come in here, you can see a porcelain foot flush stool. And as we work our way up, plenty of hip and shoulder space, which is nice. If you're a little bit bigger than me, you're a little, you need a camper, it's a little more fluffy friendly. It's actually one of the things I like about Freedom Expresses. They're taller inside than most lightweight trailers. This has a six foot nine ceiling, not six and a half, not six and a half with a vault, but six nine all the way, which means that in the slides and over here in this nice radius corner shower with that handy little uh, you know, magnet door catch so that when you're not using the, uh, this is just a travel lock. That black strip is actually a magnet to keep the door shut when you're inside. The taller ceiling will give you more headroom in here. And having dedicated in-bath linen space, that is something where a lot of bathroom fall short. Now, I like how there's kind of, it's small, but a hallway, because it really sets the tone that this is a separated private space. And another thing that's really outstanding about this model is that this is uh, basically 30 foot, but I think it's 29 and 11 or something like that, but 30 foot tip to tail with a 70 by 80 king bed. That is awesome. A little side stands on either side of the bed for my handy little spot to leave my phone. All the windows, once again, open for airflow. There's reading lamps and stuff above the bed. That taller ceiling and the lighter colors makes this room look and feel larger. Then as I, uh, I'll swing my way around the corner over here, you see all this closet space. That is absolutely awesome. Area directly across from that uh, for entertainment. Now down below this, you'll see when you go outside, this is our camp kitchen. And that down there is just an extra pocket of storage. You notice how it's sunken back just a bit. That's so that this bed can just normally extend and retract. It's really, really smart how that works. And there's some great storage capacity in here. So cracking those open, if you look up inside there, you can see there's hanging racks, not hanging rods. I prefer hanging racks, although I do think it's a small difference feature, because hanging racks will keep your clothes exactly where you left them, because this thing's going to bounce and jostle down the road. Hanging rods, they are inclined to kind of slip slide around a little bit. Little bonus pocket of storage space there, but as we turn a little bit further, you see yet another kind of dresser space over here. It is really cool how they used every little nook and cranny in this floor plan. They just didn't really let anything go to waste. Those stable steps give us uh, a lot of stability and support as we get in and out of the trailer, keep the whole thing from rocking and rolling around. Whipping around the front here, we see that beautiful uh, nose cap windshield. And that is a windshield. It's actually a different glass than just a window. Same kind of glass and installation method as you'd have in a vehicle. With the stone guard down below that, help keeping her nice and pretty. And by the way, people go sometimes, yeah, but isn't that windshield potentially susceptible to rocks hitting it? Take note of the position of the stone guard. That is where over 90% of stones are likely to touch the trailer from transit, most of which are actually flung from your own vehicle. So that windshield being up yet another foot minimum, and not to mention most of it's higher than that, 
uh, it's, it's just really not a likely thing. Um, power tongue jack on the front, optional piece of equipment actually that we put on here at Halet RV doing the heavy lifting for us. And uh, right behind that you see the propane tanks in my little battery box, but not what I want to talk about. You see that the spare tire is actually tongue mounted, that is for load equalizing. Weight in front of the trailer pulls a little bit better than weight behind. There is also a handy uh, battery disconnect switch here, which is pretty slick. This has an enclosed forced air heated underbelly, good extended season camper, especially with the, the white skin in the summertime keeping us comfortable. And then over here, so there's another bulb seal on the inside of the camper for when the slides open as it is currently. There's a bulb seal out here, but then you see you've actually got double wiper seals and they actually have a little bit of a T function on them. And um, the idea there is with this rough textured slide wall, I call the seal gripping leak preventing slide wall. It will always make sure that there's a little bit better surface area and contact in play on the uh, slide outs when the slides are going in and out to make sure you don't have any water intrusion, which is just a fancy dancy way of saying leak. Jumping back behind the big super slide between the two slides, you see we have our centralized hookup center. I like how it's in here, nice and protected. Everything's kind of out of the way. You've got that little camp shower going on, um, sewer hookups, all that right there. Now, all of these Freedom Expresses include an outdoor picnic table. Normally, those are um, stored in the ceiling of the front pass-through storage. Because this floor plan is a little different, they don't put it there, they actually ship it here and it slides under the rear bed. But it also gives us a chance to talk about this nice rear bed storage. And you can lift the bed to access this, you just don't necessarily have to. Magnet holdbacks making it easy to get in and out of those baggage doors without juggling open with your head like obviously I just demonstrated here. We're back up camera ready. And then you see the rear ladder. That is yet another optional piece of equipment that we like to add to all of our Freedom Expresses here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan to make sure it is simple, safer, and easier to get up to that roof for maintenance and upkeep. Um, that being said, that's, uh, that's really the only purpose of that ladder. We don't believe it should really be used for cargo storage, for bike racks, or anything. I know those devices exist, but just because something exists doesn't mean it's smart to use. And it's really the patio space where this model kind of shines through compared to so many other of these front kitchen rear bed slide models. Um, remember, under 30 feet tip to tail, now it's pretty much right at the 30 foot mark, but 30 feet tip to tail and still giving us a really nice outdoor camp kitchen kind of experience. And what's smart, remember this is all kind of behind or under the bedroom closet. It's a really intelligent use of space. Comes with this handy Coleman free floating camp grill and this is a deceptively large pocket of space over here. It's one of the reasons I like putting videos together so you can get a better feel for that. So there's a big chunk of room in there. I put that box in there for scope and scale to really help drive that home. Real sink with a real drain to a holding tank. And that slot right there, wouldn't you know it, is made to be exactly the size of that Coleman grill. So you could kind of slot it in place over here for like travel purposes. Uh, this fridge, press the, uh, the fridge inside, gives us, you know, anywhere from like 11 to almost 13 or 14 cubic foot of cold storage space, depending on the fridge present. We have some TV hookups for all kinds of awesome outdoor patio. And you know another thing too? You notice how this camp kitchen is completely contained under the awning? That's something that a lot of people look for, but not a lot of RVs deliver, and Freedom Express got it done. Wide stance stability axles make this thing uh, tow more nicely. It's an awesome trailer for parking, but you got to get it there, and it's going to tow nicely on the way. The stable steps were easy, come and go. Right by the door, we got our handy little pet leash latch and, and bottle opener combination. I've always kind of wondered if the uh, if it's not so much a, a leash latch for pets as it is for people like me. If they have one too many barley pops, it kind of keeps me tethered to my camper so I don't go wandering around the campsite at night. But, you know, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> little simple side mount solar prep plug and this I'm really excited about. I love this because most front kitchens do not have pass-through storage but this is not most front kitchens now is it? It's got a full front pass-through storage like almost any other Freedom Express. It is a really intelligent feature and I have said for a long time if you've watched my videos for any amount of time you know one of the things that I believe is that every camper is the best for a different reason and I've said for a long time coachmen's are really excellent at storage. They, they excel where others kind of fall short in that area. And finally on top of the old girl here you see that beautiful bright white polar white kind of uh, roof membrane. That in conjunction with the white skin of the camper 
is organically shedding off a ton of heat. Now, something I didn't talk about inside the camper was that pretty much every Freedom Express we have here at Halid RV, we will also upgrade the air conditioner system um, any chance we really get to make sure that you're going to stay comfortable even in the hot uh, climates. And that's actually part of what this thing right here is. That's a roof attic vent. So the gap between the interior ceiling panel and the exterior decking that I'm walking on, there's an air gap in there and it's packed with insulation, of course, but it holds heat just like it does at your house. If you ever crawl up in the attic, your house is hot. Well, that's what this does. It lets that heat escape and holy cow, does that make such a massive difference. So this is a good kind of quick overview on this camper. If you have any other questions, all we ask is you give us a call here at Halid RV, give our team the opportunity to work with you. As you can see, we're well versed in the RV industry. There's a little bit of just about everything out here. And one of the phrases that we like is chances are if it's on wheels, we've got it at Halid RV. So whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery and everything between, give us a call, we do it all except for hidden dealer fees. We leave those to the big box stores. We just put fair pricing out there. So take care, stay safe, have fun. Happy camping, everyone. There's a Freedom Express bunkhouse leaving right now. How about that? Couldn't have planned that any better if I tried.